Good morning everybody, Josh here with Input Mapper. I'm here for a long overdue input as far as the status of Input Mapper 2 development. Um, just wanted to apologize to everybody for the you know long silent time we went through but a lot of the work was outsourced so I really couldn't give regular updates. Um, but uh, it's at a point now where you know I'm plugging stuff together and getting it to work so I can uh, you know demonstrate some stuff to you guys. Uh, one issue that I've been coming across with lately is uh, Windows 10. Um, the weird way it seems to be handling Bluetooth was causing an extreme amount of latency. Uh, I think I've worked around most of the issues, at least enough to get a, um, a, a latency that's playable. Uh, this is actually the first morning where I've gotten it down to a point where it is playable. Um, and I still think I can shave a few more milliseconds off with uh, optimizing a little bit more of the code. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it here. Uh, I'll be using the, uh, the Steel Series um, controller to go ahead and test this out with, uh, for the most part, because uh, you know you already know that the DualShock 4 works, so there's no real reason showing that over and over again. Um, the, and I'm sorry about the camera focusing. A lot of my stuff is uh, still in the truck from a previous podcast, so I'm working with limited equipment here including the microphone which is why you're picking up so much uh, background audio too um, but anyways this controller doesn't have triggers so we're not going to be able to play too much without the triggers but uh, we'll go ahead and give it a quick demonstration here so let's go ahead and launch up my version of IM2 and you'll see it's rather ugly name but that's my uh, steel series there that it's detecting um, up the input map or monitor and see we got the inputs there so go ahead and we're going to launch uh, Fallout 4 and it took a little doing this it took a little doing to get this game to uh, capture correctly here into uh, my vmix uh, because this normally doesn't handle video capture so hopefully it's coming through at a frame rate that isn't completely crap uh, but if there is a little added frame rate, just know that that's not because of the software or, uh, or even the game. It's probably just due to the capture. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back into this. I'm still pretty early into the game, so don't expect to see much or any spoilers. Um, and I'm sorry about the weird resolution, too. That's because I'm using a uh, 21 by 9 monitor, so the game kind of gets funky with that in some spots. <laughs> Is there a back? No, no back. Alright, so here we are. Ooh, that video capture is chunking up real good. Yeah, as you can see, it's gotten the latency down far enough where this is playing. Hey, buddy. Whatever. that uh, you know that we were making progress here and that you know other controllers are working in games now um, the UI is one of the major points of focus right now um, a lot of the stuff is working behind the scenes right now UI is just something that you know gets thrown together at the last minute uh, let's see uh, mapping is one thing that was of concern to me because there are so many you know controllers that we're going to be able to support now and output you know outputs that we can send to 
that the normal pop-up window with the tabs like we were using an IM uh, 1.5 it just simply wasn't going to work um, so what I'm still in the middle of working on here is some sort of a like a hierarchy um, of devices you can add devices go in here and you know you got your little full pop-up obviously this is blank I got my little test button in here just to test things out but um, yeah that's how we're hoping to uh, have the mapping set up now uh, and then advanced mapping that's something we'll explain in detail a little further down the road um, but hopefully that'll simplify things especially you know when you have multiple controllers using multiple plugins um, you know it'll make it easier to find the correct you know things that you're trying to map to instead of hunting around in a bunch of windows um, so I mean that'll do it for now um, stay tuned still working on it um, obviously now that you know that it's working in game we're a lot closer than we were even just a couple days ago um, so follow us in the forum I'll have the link below for the IM2 uh, project development thread um, like us on Facebook um, YouTube all that happiness and have a good one